All right, so the snapping tool in the graph editor is pretty straightforward. Basically what it allows you to do is snap your keyframes in your graph editor to spots that the computer thinks it would help you most. So what I mean by that is I have this keyframe right here for some of the clouds. I'm kind of just moving it around without snapping. And if I move to different keyframes, it'll snap, but it's not going to be very sticky. So it doesn't really know what you're looking for and it won't predict it either. But with snapping on, you just click this little magnet thing and uh, you can bring it to different keyframes and it will just very cleanly snap into position. And I like working this way because I'll generally have a lot of layers with very similar animations, just slightly offset, but I'd want them to start at a very specific point. So it just makes it a little bit more user friendly. And the way this would look in the scene for the final animation is just this cloud sequence sort of like animating on over a cascade, so to speak. Now, if I go back out of the graph editor, all this is is just a bunch of layers sequenced one over one another with some scale, scale up keyframes and then some expressions to give it a little bit of bounce. And that translates into this little animation right here of this beautiful marshmallow mountain scene for a board game video that I did for Ultra Pro Entertainment. The game is called Sweetlandia. It's all about candy. And uh, this was a little tip on how you can use the snapping tool in the graph editor to uh, use it in a professional setting. I hope this was useful to you. If it was, let me know in the comment section down below. If you have any questions on any specific parts of After Effects, let me know and eat one gram of protein per pound of body weight and you will make some. Goodbye, my friends. Bye.